Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, another great day to be alive, another great day to go fishing. Today, we are still with Mr. Larry Melton Jr. who is uh, enjoying a strawberry yogurt, I believe is what that is. Yes sir, you want a spoonful? I'm good, <laughs> I probably don't want to share a yogurt with you. So you getting your probiotics in this morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you've hit that age where you, you need like good probiotics to take a good poop. Yeah, yogurt is the only thing that I can eat in the morning that doesn't like stress me out throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. That's. That's an interesting take on food in the mornings. I mm -hmm. like that. So what do you think my bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits is going to do to me today? Uh, especially since it's from McDonald's, it's going to give you, you're good until about 10 o'clock and you'll be like, man, I can not have ate that. Just going to be just pure stress? It's going to go straight through. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna counter that. I'm going to counteract the stress of eating a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit this morning by catching uh, like an eight pounder. Yeah, you're going to be taking an aqua dump by 10.30 though. Okay. 100%. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't think people, you know, a lot of people don't talk about it, you know, when they're talking about fishing, but taking a poop outside, I've taken a lot of poops outside. It's just part of being an outdoorsman and being a fisherman. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm prepared. I got wet wipes. I got TP. I mean, like, that, that tundra back there is fully equipped for a poop outside. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's why we buy them. That's, that's why we buy a truck. <laughs> that's why we buy a truck so, so we can poop, poop outside. outside. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun oh, all right guys here we are though we're here at a really just beautiful pond that larry has access to we got the kayaks out today as you guys can see we're gonna do a little bit of kayak fishing and just enjoy ourselves this morning it has been a beautiful morning so far it's going to continue to be a beautiful morning overcast those gray skies only a fisherman would walk outside and say hey gray overcast skies is beautiful but on a day like today in the middle of the summer, it absolutely is. And so we're about to get after it. I'm so thankful that you guys clicked on this video. Really do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna shut up and let's go catch some fish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah crazy man different time bro different time we are going to start with the critter hog the berkeley critter hog this thing is actually has been discontinued i'll make sure and link the normal version of this bait down below but it is just an awesome little critter bait got it on a unpegged texas rig little quarter ounce weight for our ewg hook and uh yeah that's what we're starting with this morning out. Hmm. It's a pretty fish though. Good way to start the morning. Well, there's one piece of the puzzle. Look at him looking. They're like, what the hell? They're like, what's wrong with you? Explain it to me. Use your words. All right, boys and girls, going to pond number two. We're gonna start moseying our way over there right now. We got some bites in this pond, that's for sure. Caught a pretty decent one. Broke a couple off, cause I suck. Uh, but pond number two, I'm optimistic about it. It's a little bit bigger. 
I like the way that it looks. When we were driving in, I asked Larry, I was like, tell me about that pond. He's told me about the pond. I was like, it's a good looking pond. So it's nice, nice pond, nice and wet. That's a nice pond. You got some dynamite, might not need them. I thought about it. <laughs> you and me both. Box full of M80s and some matches and just let her rip. It's so good to them. Fishing was so good. They all died, but it was good fishing. All right, boys and girls, here we are. Spot number two. Larry, what do you think, buddy? Um, I think we can get a couple of I believe we can, too. We're two competent fishermen. I think we can do it. Maybe. Look at that, guys. <laughs> That's fun. That's a solid one. Just flipping that little critter, hog. Here he goes. Watch him. Watch him. Oh, he ain't gonna jump. Turn that thing all to pieces. There it is, guys. A little June bug critter hog. Like I said, the Maxent version is discontinued, but I will link the normal power vape version down below. Yeah, there you go. Well, a little bit of you. Ain't a giant. Fun though. Yeah, here, dude. <laughs> Oh, little bitty. <laughs> that fish took off. Look at him. Look at him. Look how pissed off he is. <laughs> that fish took off like like a six pounder, man. That's fun. There you go. Not a giant, but a pretty fish. That fish got a crazy eye. Look at that thing's eye. The color of it. That's cool. There he is. That's a better one. Here we go. Ain't a giant, but it's a good one. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. Man, what a bite. Lord have mercy. Guys, let's get that in the back. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, one eye. Thank you for a good time. I'll tell you what, guys, I cannot believe that they discontinued this awesome little bait. If you've never seen one, this is the Critter Hog. And what it is, is, you know, it's a little creature style bait. You got some little twisty tails here. You got two big appendages on the side, these little arms. And then these little things are pretty interesting. Whenever they hit the water and they start to drag, they kind of flutter. And it almost slows the fall of this bait down. And it is just a very interesting little bait in the Berkeley lineup and in the Max Scent set of shapes. And, you know, and they're keeping it going. 
going in the normal power bait, which is good because it is such an awesome shape. And I'll make sure and link that down below, but not in the max scent. And I like the max scent just because of the coloration, you know, that kind of matte purple that the June bug has is really awesome. So I can't believe they discontinued that bait, but it's crazy though, this time of year, you know, late dog days of summer, uh, you know, when it's really, really hot, those days, it's just like, you can't even stay out past 11. For some reason, they start eating those bigger creature style baits you know not your beaver style not like your creature hog or something like that they want a creature style bait you know something that's got all these little appendages and these little ribbon tails and something like that and for as long as i can remember this time of year you go and either tie on a jig black and chartreuse black and blue jig and or some kind of creature bait like this with all these appendages and these little twin tails and stuff during the dog days of summer and you get bit and that works all the way from home down here in alabama where i'm at ponds lakes it doesn't matter it seems to work and it's just something that year in year out we get bit doing and so we're getting bit today we're having some fun we're catching some dad jim chug these bass over here in this pond you know they are not as long but they are short and they are fat and they are eating good and man when you hook them they go absolutely insane and it's a ton of fun Come here, come here. Got him. Golly, what a tublin. Golly, that fish is fat. <laughs> what a fat tee. That's fun. Look at that one, guys. Look at the belly on that thing. Check that one out, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Dang, guys, look at that one. Look at the way that fish is built. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. And that's awesome. There you go, guys. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> that was fun. So let's talk about kind of what I'm throwing and what I'm throwing it on. I mean, obviously, you guys know what I'm throwing as far as the bait. It is the Berkeley Max Scent Critter Hog. Green bug critter hog that we're almost out of i got a four aught fusion 19 ewg hook and then i've got that paired up with a quarter ounce tungsten weight 17 pound trilene 100 fluorocarbon 76 abu garcia veritas plx te that's the tournament edition so it's like the veritas um, series the white ones except for this is the tournament edition and a seven gear ratio zeta and yeah that's what i'm throwing unpegged on the weight no peg just throwing it out there traditional texas rig and that is what i've caught all my fish on today and a couple fish yesterday as well so having some fun is what we're doing this is again one of my favorite ways to catch a fish is just throwing a piece of plastic out there and absolutely jacking their face with it so fun 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 gosh that's fun that is so much fun boat ramp is literally right there i think that is probably going to be the last one of the day and as a mark zona would say we are done but don't go anywhere because i mean i don't think we're actually done i mean yeah i don't know how that works but there's another fish pretty little fish
boys and girls i have to say i had a good time today this is my kind of fish and you guys know that when it comes to flipping and frogging and doing anything like that it makes alex red happy and so yeah we're gonna call this one quits for today larry's backing up right now to come get his kayak larry buddy <laughs> that was uh I was smooth. I like that. What do you call yeah. that? What do you call that dance move? Uh, this is my. I don't know. You don't know? The I teeter see kids, totter. Yeah, kids on TikTok do it. Okay, kids on TikTok do it. Yeah. I mean, you are a kid on TikTok. I am a kid on TikTok. Yeah, I'm like the I'm the old man in this scenario, which kind of sucks. I'm getting old. I was just telling Larry like, I can't do things like I used to do. I guess that's what almost thirty looks like. It's kind of weird, but almost thirty. I'm gonna get you a t-shirt next time we hang out. Hashtag almost thirty. Yeah, here you go, man. Hashtag almost 30. They, what sucked was when we went out to eat with the Do It guys, and they're like, give it to the old man down there. And I'm like, what do y'all mean by that? And then I realized, I'm the old man. Like, Yeah, and I'm oh, I'm over here sitting at 28, like some old dude that's just ready to die. But Larry, did you have fun today, buddy? I had a great time. I had a great time. Can I tell them how we got to this point Let's today? So we're driving. The pond that we fished first this morning, I think it's going to be the money pond. And now it's like, let's go try that one. This one's always hit or miss for me and Alex just is over here just wrecking them. Just, oh, I got another one, oh, I got another one. Just, and I hear him in the back corner, I hear him like laughing and making noise. I'm like, oh, okay, he's catching them. So thank you, Alex, for putting me on fish in my spot. Absolutely. I'm not you sure that was supposed to be a fist bump, but we made it on. It's a, it's a thumb, thumb bump. Like a yeah. thumb hug. Beep. There you go. <laughs> ET, ET phone yeah. hug. All right, boys and girls, like I said, we're going to end it right here. If you have not subscribed to Larry's channel, get your ass from up under the rock that you live under. Go subscribe to that man's channel. He is doing awesome stuff on YouTube, especially in the kayak space, especially in the bank fishing space. And I just, I've grown to love this man right here. He's, he's an awesome cat, and we're going to keep awesome. him around. We're going to bring him up to Tennessee next and catch some fish. But as always, guys, thank you for watching questions or comments you know where to go leave them go hit up the description check out all the gear that i use today click one of these two videos that's popping up right here and as always i love you jesus loves you there's nothing you can do about it and you guys are sweet and thank you for watching